What up guys and welcome back to the Fit Man Cook Kitchen. For today's quickie recipe, I've got a really interesting one today. So two of the hottest diets out right now are the, you probably said the first one, that's keto, and the other one is the Mediterranean diet. That's actually my preferred diet. Today I'm gonna show you how to combine the two into one delicious meal. We are making a delicious, creamy Mediterranean chicken in tomato. Now this recipe is pretty neat because if you're following a low carb diet like a keto diet, then you could actually make something that's creamy and full flavored for yourself, but you can also take inspiration from another popular diet, which is the Mediterranean diet. All the ingredients here are very fresh. We have some heart healthy olive oil and we're gonna combine that with a little bit of cream. Now, if you're trying to cut out a little bit of the dairy in your diet, I get that completely. Just swap out heavy cream for some full fat coconut cream or some full fat coconut milk. And while this recipe is great for people who are following keto because it's higher in fat, just remember that you could make some really easy swaps. Number one, you could swap out the chicken thighs for some chicken breast. A lot leaner, it's gonna cut down on that fat. Also, you can use a non-stick skillet and use much less oil. So you could just use some spray oil if you want. You could turn this into a much leaner meal. So there are ways to take this same recipe and make it much lighter for you in terms of fats for you and your diet. All right, guys, so if you're ready to roll up your sleeves for this delicious, super easy, creamy Mediterranean chicken and tomato, then let's get started. Okay. But where's the joke? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I actually have several jokes today. Oh, Thank no. you. Oh, yeah, oh, hold on, no. wait, wait. Here's an oldie but goodie. What did the drummer name his two daughters? You're gonna be so upset. He said Pat and Pat. Oh, you're gonna be so mad at yourself. Anna one, Anna two. <laughs> oh, okay, so here's the other one. You know that the first French fries weren't actually cooked in France. Where were they cooked? Mm, oil. Oh. In yeah. Greece. In Greece? Yeah. <laughs> So you kind of got it. You kind of poured cold water right on top of it. We're one and one. A tiebreaker? Tiebreaker. Hold on. Do you know of anyone in, in need of an arc? No, I don't know anyone. I don't know. Yes, I know a guy. Ah! <laughs> That's like That's half good. right. Oh, no, you can't get credit for that. Just forget it for guessing the thing. I'm just trying. Yeah, guys. Look, look at so this crazy. guy over here, the champion. <laughs> We are the champions, my friend. <laughs> all right guys, let's get cooking. All right y'all, the first thing we're gonna do is prep the chicken. So we're going to season it up. We're gonna keep it really simple for this first part. I'm gonna put a little bit of sea salt and some pepper. And that's it just for the chicken for right now. Next, we're gonna fire up a skillet, place it on medium high heat. We're gonna add in some olive oil. Make sure that pan is nice and hot. And then we're gonna add in our chicken thighs. And what we're trying to go for here is a really nice sear on the chicken. This part is just for getting some color on it. And then after about three minutes, we're gonna take the chicken out of the skillet. Again, it's okay if the chicken is not cooked all the way through. We just want to sear the top part of it and also provide some flavor inside of the skillet. Okay, now we're going to reduce the heat in the skillet to a low medium, and while that is cooling down, what we're also going to do is prep our tomatoes. So grab you some sun-dried tomatoes and some olive oil, and take out the tomato, don't add the oil, and just chop up, do a rough chop of the sun-dried tomatoes. Okay, so with the skillet cooled down, we're gonna add just a little bit more oil, and then we're going to add in some garlic, some thyme, and a little bit of rosemary. We're going to lightly bloom the spices and just continue scraping the bottom of the pan just to make sure that the spices are not burning. Now we're gonna increase the heat just a little bit, bump it back up to medium high heat. We're gonna pour in some chicken broth. Also add in our tomatoes and some heavy cream. And if you wanna cut out the dairy here, um, or as much dairy as possible, then you can also use coconut cream. Give this a light stir, 
And what we're gonna do is just continue stirring it, bring this to a simmer. Now, if the heat is too hot and it begins to boil, then turn the heat down, we don't want that. Last thing we're gonna sprinkle in here is some grated Parmesan. You can bring it to a light simmer. Now we're gonna add the chicken back in and just nestle each piece into the broth. Now we're gonna bake this in the oven for 15 minutes at 350. Yeah, buddy, woo, this looks good. After 15 minutes, our creamy Mediterranean chicken is finished. Now, let this cool down a lot, and once it cools down, the sauce is gonna thicken up, and it's just gonna be just right for serving. And if you're gonna enjoy this for a meal, then I recommend something that's equally low carb, something that's really hearty, like a cauliflower rice, or maybe even some grilled asparagus. Instead of having Jesse taste it today, we're actually gonna have my manager, Jay, taste it. He is his first time being here in the studio as we're filming, and so he has no idea we're gonna call him in and put him on the spot and make him taste this for the entire internet. Hey! What's up? Come on. So, oh <laughs> so we're gonna have you taste this for the internet today. This is the bite can. Do I have to know, do I get to know what it is? Yeah, it's, it's chicken, and it's a creamy Mediterranean chicken. Well, you gotta just, Man, there's a lot more finesse when Jesse does it. He just well, kind of went in right in. I haven't just, started doing anything yet. It's all right, but just, but just go ahead. Creamy chicken I mean, and no, tomato. I'm no amateur tomato. when it comes to tasting a good Oh recipe. my gosh, here we go. Will you <laughs> just taste the thing? <laughs> That's good. It's good? It's legit? What are those, chicken thighs? Yeah, it's chicken thighs. This is much more of a keto. This is keto and Mediterranean. I'm not Ooh. gonna be able to guess what's in there, but rosemary or something maybe? Yeah. Really? Yeah, rosemary, all right. That's legit, all right, that Jay. is legit. Okay. All right, Jay, come I've been, with the I've heat. been around this guy yeah. long enough to know there's a little rosemary, rosemary in, there. in there. Okay, okay. All right, guys, that is it for today's recipe. I know that you're going to enjoy this. This is a great meal to add to your repertoire, whether you are curious about the keto diet or whether you're curious about the Mediterranean diet. I think this is a perfect example of how you can kind of blend those interests together. So that way you can get some Mediterranean inspired recipes on your low carb plan. So just think about that. Think about other ways to make your current diet super interesting. All right guys, if you like videos like this, I invite you to smash that like button below and remember to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to ring that bell, ding, 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 so you can be notified every time we post hot new content here on Fit Men Cook. All right, y'all, thank y'all so much for watching. Until next time, I want y'all to keep it healthy, but of course, never, ever boring. Boom! Bye, y'all.